What's up, Renegade Nation? Before we begin the video, I'd like to give a big shout out to our most recent Patreon supporters. Tyler R., Matthew Hensley, Dimitru Ulicini, Nicholas Whittington, Wes Devil Zero, Craigan, CDJ Dragon, Chow Lao, Kumasan, Kaylee McRae, The Pokemon 52, Magnus Moeller, Joshua C. Arit, Stephen Sharp, Christopher, Daniel Hudson, Azuma, Obtuse and Chartreuse Mongoose, Anthony the Hedgehog, Malik Black, Ann Van Leeuwen, Barry Bearable, Jay Sick, Gabe Man Man, and Tyler J. Hart. Thank you all very much for your support. And as always, I'd like to give a big shout out to our producer, The Anime Hybrid. If you all want to support us on Patreon, feel free to click the link down below to find out more. We'll see you there. There's one thing you can always say about this uh, this this game franchise. The soundtrack has pretty much always been on point. Yeah. And there's a band that like fucking nobody appreciates that was on it. I'm just like, there's a lot of them, dude. Like, yeah. CKY. Oh yeah. Oh gosh. Can't kill, kill yourself. I remember their music was used a lot in Jackass because. Bam Margera is brother's, brother's drummer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that's where a lot of Jackass came from, the videos that they put in skateboard magazines with that band's music behind it. Yeah. Which was essentially Jackass before Jackass. Well, yeah. There's because... like not many bands where like I could just hear the guitar tone and immediately know who it is, but he has like one of the most unique guitar tones. I love sounds it. great. It sounds so yeah. good. And it's so unique. I remember when when they included the different scares. I remember when they actually included Bam Margera mm -hmm. in these games. And it was Number like, two, I or think three. I think two or three was when he first I can't got introduced. 100%. I remember Bob Burnquist was always like the second one, and then in the third game, I think Steve Cabarello took over. Well, as like the second main uh, skater, I would argue Rodney Mullen. Well, Rodney was he always came in number two. Well, and he Rodney invented half the tricks that are on the game. Well, yeah, and Rodney is <clears throat> Rodney is like the best street skater. Yeah, by for, far. For Tony Hawk was the best vert skater. Well, it's arguable between him and Bucky, Danny Way, and Bucky last. Danny Way wasn't on. He had his no, own no. Games, Danny but, was. Yeah, uh, was it Mullen that did the impossible or Rodney Mullen? Yeah, yeah. I mean, he did okay. the dark slide, the kick flip, the ollie. He invented the ollie and the kick flip, dude. Like you know, he's he's <laughs> he's pretty him, much. Uh, street skating would not be what it is. No, I mean, and and that's the one thing about this game. They they originally had these games envisioned as like a downhill thing that had verts in it, so where you could like grab boosts and all yeah. that. But they found out that the street skating aspect, the grinding, the uh, you know the the ollies, the kick flips, everything about that was much more fun than just the downhill segment. And they oh, only yeah. did one downhill segment in in the first game. And it was, uh, I, I'm not going to say it was the most boring level, but it was the one level that I don't remember the most of. I think it was like a um, <clears throat> excuse me, competition level, I'm pretty sure. Probably. Uh, yeah. I think I, so. I think it was a competition level. And, and it was, it was, it was fine. Yeah. I didn't it was all right. It. it was definitely different than everything else. Well, so yeah. Cool. I mean, and that's the thing. downhills lend themselves more to just the real life intensity of going that fast. And well, you can't like turn back and go get the secret no. tape or hit that grind yeah. that you need to. Yeah. It's like, you can, but you're screwing everything. Yeah. You're going ultra slow and you have no momentum. Yeah. And the thing with the Tony Hawk Pro Skater games, one and two, I remember one had a, a little bit awkward in controls. It was because it was the first, it was the first time NeverSoft had done a game like that. They originally were doing a shooter, it was Activision, right? No, it was NeverSoft. Really? Activision was the publisher. Oh, okay. But NeverSoft was the developer. And the developer, contrary to what everyone says, the developer is the one that truly matters. Everyone says, oh, Bethesda, you know, Bethesda's responsible for Doom. We should praise them. No, it's id. Id Softworks is the one that makes was Doom. Was that the one that had, like, the the eyeball that got the nail that drove it? That's it. it. Yeah. Okay. And uh, uh, the but that's responsible for fucking up Doom Eternal now. Yes, Todd Howard actually. Thank you, Todd. Thank you for Way that. To go asshole. But <clears throat> the Tony Hawk Pro Skater games, <laughs> ever since NeverSoft uh, moved on after I think it was American Wasteland two, um, it pretty much it pretty much went entirely off the rails. 
<clears throat> no pun intended with that, by the way. And um, now, it, and then there was Tony Hawk Pro Skater 5, which everybody hated. Hmm. It was an absolute hmm. atrocious game. I have never played it. Be thankful. Don't really care. Be, like, after, mm. for me, Where's after Underground, I was, I was kind of... Underground no longer invested. Underground was there <clears throat> was a lot of people at NeverSoft. They said that was their their one Tony Hawk game that they can truly say they were one hundred percent proud of. Yeah, I mean it was good, but like for me, once Skate came out, it was just like oof. Well, Skate oof. was Skate was, was a too. more procedural, more realistic, whereas Tony Hawk's Pro Skater was built an to arcade be an arcade game. game. Yeah. yeah, which and I appreciate. Well, skate kind of was like next gen with it too, like. Yeah, they had some stuff that I don't even think they probably could have done very accurately in Tony Hawk for the time period that it was out. I yeah. don't know, no, nah, dude. So, Thrasher Skater was very skate. Oh, like I remember a, that. That Skate's one was like a skate simulator, basically. Or the, Thrasher was simulator. the predecessor to that. You used the analog stick and everything for yeah. the same shit, and then like. Oh, I know, one of the things skater, I immediately it was in SK eight. eight or, yeah, I remember that one. That one and two were also rivals for Tony Hawk that were good. But like other in Tony that, Hawk, like if you just rode up onto a curb, it would just let you go up on there. And one of the things I immediately noticed in skate is much no. like in real life, like your skateboard would hit the side of the curb. Yep. So like you had to actually well, ollie up <laughs> curbs and shit. Well and, and Skate three is like the best skateboarding game ever, in my opinion. Well, and and truth is, in terms of in terms of like procedural realistic and more more realistic skateboarding absolutely <clears throat> but there is no there is no denying the impact oh, that these uh, games had on us when we were young that's not what i'm talking about at all no 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 uh, i'm talking about just gameplay here yeah gameplay now as far as like cultural and just me personally the impact that tony hawk had on me dude the demo disc that came with the pizza yes, Hut pizza yes, that I had the warehouse episode on it changed my life significantly in many different ways. There was actually there's actually a little bit of a hack that people discovered in that is that you could actually like there was a, a section in the mall that if you hacked it back in there was a statue of Bruce Willis. Wow. Hmm. And you know why? Because the engine that they used for the first Tony Hawk Pro hard. Skater game was uh no, it was actually for a a game that actually starred Bruce Willis that wasn't Die Hard. Uh, they couldn't get the Die Hard property and and uh, all that, but I forget the name of it. But I think it was Apocalypse. I think was the name of oh, it. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. And uh, NeverSoft made that, and then they were making another shooter game. But then Activision came to them and gave them an offer and said, "Hey, we want to use the engine that you all made for this game, and we want you all to make a Tony Hawk Pro Skater game." And uh, pretty much they said, "All right, fine." And lo and behold, the Tony Hawk Pro Skater series happened. And then it fell off a cliff. And now Vicarious Visions, the same team that redid uh, the, the Crash Bandicoot games, is now redoing the first two Tony Hawk Pro Skater games. And, uh, yeah. I just want to say it's cool that the Pizza Hut demo just changed your life because it's also responsible for me. Yeah. Favorite video game franchise of all time. <coughs> Metal Gear, Metal Metal Gear, Gear yeah, yeah. I, that's the first time I played Metal Gear 2. Um, but, dude, I got into punk rock music because of that. I started skateboarding because of that, and that just like changed the trajectory of my whole life. Yeah, I remember. Really did. I, I also remember on some of those demo discs there was Ape Escape. Oh yeah. Uh, there was also mm. uh, what was the snowmobile racing game yeah, that had yeah. uh, Dragula. Yeah, it had Rob Zombie on there. And then of course there was also uh, a Star Wars, uh, a, uh, the Star Wars, uh, like uh, Mortal Kombat style fighting game, Spyro. Yes, the Spyro Medieval. demo. Yes. Grand Turismo. So many great. Uh, I actually have one of demos. those upstairs. I Jesus. didn't think about it. I should have brought it down, but I've got the, no, no, no. It, the it, little like booklet that it goes into, the little sheath, and oh, the disc upstairs. Nice. Yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think it's the Metal Gear one too. By the way, we should play that one day. Just yes. To do it. Yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, what we have here is we have the reveal trailer. It's been out for a little while. And uh, figured, hey, might as I well, haven't seen it yet. Cause might, might as well check it out yeah. and see what's uh, see what's cra see what's cracking with it. Oh, that music! Oh, that looks good. Shit! Ah, oh, the leap of faith. Yep. Woo! 
That should be Jamie Thomas doing that. Yeah, it should be, because he was the one who nailed it first. Oh, look at that. Damn. Shit. Yeah. Now you're nature, Papa Roach. Rage. <coughs> Woo! Yes! Woo! Nice. Graham Campbell. And, yeah, dude. There you go, Tony. Killing it. 900. Okay. Looks nice. Dude. Yes. I saw Jello Biafra live <laughs> at Camp Punk in Drublick a couple years ago. Nice. He's still killing it, dude. Still. He, he jumped over the railing and was like letting the crowd hold him up. This man's like near 60 years old. Just, just still, still rocking. Punk is a, a motherfucker, doesn't care. Yep. Oh. And. This is a this is a true remaster that includes all the levels and not like what, what Tony Hawk Pro Skater HD did, where they included like only five levels from each game. Well, it wasn't just one and two; they did it for three, three. and four, I believe. There yeah. was a bunch of different levels, yeah, compilations but, in it. But also, they they really cut out a lot of the soundtrack because they didn't yeah. seek the licensing rights, right? Which that's one thing I don't expect all of the original songs. Well, that to be wasn't back. even. It was only digital too. It wasn't like I've never seen a physical copy of. No, it. No, no. But it was just uh, well the store, right? PlayStation Store. I think so. And uh, here's another thing about it as well. Watered down versions of games have been happening. There's one that pissed me off so bad I got a refund as soon as I realized how much they cut out. Uh, the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Turtles in Time reshell. Oh yeah, I've got My, that one too. Oh, I wanted to strangle someone at Ubisoft for doing that. They cut out so many great levels. Yeah, so many, and I'm just like, fuck you, it's dude. It's not a real remake. If you're it's gonna not do that. like Goldeneye, dude. The Goldeneye oh, remake my. wasn't even. It wasn't even Goldeneye. <laughs> no, wasn't even a remake. No, it wasn't. They just rebranded something and quite literally slapped a I'm golden still, sticker on a turd. I'm pretty salty that they gave. Uh the first Dark Souls to some other company and had them badly remaster it. Really? And then took the original version of Dark Souls off Steam and such so you can only get that shooting remastered version now. Once I again... I get a hold of myself a copy of the original on Corporate people sticking their idea, like not listening to their fan base, doing what they think is right and being tone deaf to everybody else. Mm -hmm. Again, dude, it's corporatism, it's corporatism in America. Not but free market. This, corporatism. This looks badass. Yes, man. this does. Which, Vicarious Visions, again, like I said, they've always done a great job remastering stuff. I mean, hell, they actually worked on the... This is actually an interesting thing. I did not know this about Vicarious Visions. Vicarious actually worked on the uh, mobile ports for a lot of the old Tony Hawk Pro Skater games. Really? Like the Game Boy Advance and stuff like that. Yeah. They actually worked on them Underground back in the day. Underground was actually a good one. Yeah. They it actually, was a good mobile game. They actually worked on a lot of those back or then. not mobile game, but handheld game. Yeah, and... And the thing is, oh, I shouldn't say mobile. Yeah, I, I fucked yeah. that up. The yeah, the handheld versions, but um, the whole thing with Tony Hawk's Pro Skater One and Two being remade fully is this is the second time that's happened. They yeah. remade it for Xbox exclusive. Oh uh, yeah, remade Two Tony, X. Yep, Two X. So this is the third time that Tony Hawk One and Two have been put out. But this looks, I mean beautiful yes and, and like it, the the links that they went to obviously connect it to the originals and weren't just like oh you know all new soundtrack this or whatever it's just like they're growing with their audience right like yes. we, we've talked about before and that's appreciated man it really is because it means that they have it, some respect for people that put them in the positions that they're at in life now yeah you know i mean and, and 
if anything, this shows me that that comp that certain companies. It's here's the one thing about it, everybody. I know. <coughs> <coughs> I know a lot of you out there want to suck Bethesda off just because you want to get the next El Elder Scrolls game. But they obviously don't care about you because how long has it been since you have gotten a new Elder Scrolls game? I got Elder Scrolls Blades on the Switch yesterday. Woo. Punish these companies by not buying their shit. <clears throat> how does Elder Scrolls Online still exist? Because, dude, their fan base on there actually has maintained itself because they have improved it. So more than Jenna Marbles keeps it going? Yes. <laughs> Unbelievably. But, again, dude, this is just... Why not play World of Warcraft? That's what you want. World of Warcraft exists. Just go well, play that. They've they've improved the combat, and it's more like Elder Scrolls now than it is World of Warcraft. If I can't go pick up my arrows, I'm I'm not down with it. Well, you know what I'm saying? If I, I miss you. and my arrow hits a tree, I should go to that tree and pick <laughs> my arrow out of it. Like Legolas does on the battlefield, you know, recover your arrows. Yeah. But, like, that, the, and, you know, I'm shooting four arrows at the same time. and all, I mean, there's just this, uh, this Diablo, World of Warcraft style element to the game that shouldn't be there if it's going to be an Elder Scrolls game. It wasn't in any of the other ones. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. It's just it's just how they launched it was terrible, and for the first 18 months, well, everybody it's, hated it's it. It's more evidence of the disconnect between them and their fan base because they basically tried to say, oh, you all asked for multiplayer for the longest time. Why are you all mad that we made an MMO based off? And it's like, because that's not the kind of fucking multiplayer we asked for. Make Skyrim, but my friends wanted, can play with me. Yeah. That's it. All we ever yeah, wanted done. was a fucking Elder Scrolls <laughs> game exactly like the games that exist right now but let my yes. friend come on and connect to me and co-op uh, the damn thing thank you as a matter of fact that's all we were like far cry for, not a fucking yeah. MMO. like far cry far cry yeah, yeah, ubisoft exactly. actually come did it on. right with far cry 5 100 percent. oh my god and far cry 4 is pretty janky from what i played so far well yeah that's still still fun straight no five straight yeah. up is awesome yeah me and jesse my, my best friend played it for three or four hours never had a problem Hmm. And he, I was just in his game, raising hell. Could still summon all of my shit. Like, well, go to the spawn locations, I guess you could say. But. Well, and and here's the one thing about it. <clears throat> I mean, companies have the ability to do this stuff, but they want to tread on safe ground and don't want to and don't want to invent something new and spend money on that. They don't want to yeah. do that. Which companies like Vicarious Visions, they obviously want to do this shit. They obviously love. The, the the fans of these older games and are and are showing that they that they care about these fans by putting this shit out. Well, a lot of things all you need to do to it is just make it look prettier. Yeah. That's all. Make, update uh, it. If it. Update the graphics. A if lot anything, of times the game is what they did to Medieval. It, Medieval's exactly the same game, but it's prettier. Still need to play that. Great. It, it, and, and they let you move the camera with the analog stick. That was the only thing anything, I asked for. Like, yeah, they make polish, one change to it, let you use the analog stick for the camera. And polish did, the game so to make awesome. it better. That's what a remake or a remaster should do. Yeah. Polish the game to make it control we'll better. Just objectively look at it. Yeah. And be like, was there anything that needed to be fixed? Yes. And it was already still a great game, like well, Spyro. Like, you know, like, then no, don't fix what's not broken. Well, and then, like, of course, well, I would say probably the best remake or remaster that's happened here recently is actually the one that they did for Shadow of the Colossus. Dude, Crash Bandicoot. No, the was Crash awesome. Bandicoot ones are awesome, too. Yeah. I actually have a huge request for one right now, and I would be super fucking stoked to hear about it if they do it. <clears throat> More it involves a company that's been remaking other stuff that has been pretty damn good. Mm hmm. And did make a new entry in the same series that was pretty fucking good. Can you guess? Resident Evil? Plus no. Different series, the same company. Silent. Who is it? Silent. No, they're, Hill? Not, they're, Hill? Not, they're not Silent. That's Konami. Who? Who? Devil I don't May know. Cry. Devil May Cry. See, Didn't they do it? Dude, they DMC did a five. fucking reboot, and it was shitty. Uh, what I want is a good remake of the first Devil May Cry, like on the DMC well, dude, Five engine. Well, DMC that's my Five. That's request dude. right now. What? DMC5 was awesome. I said they made a good game in the series that was awesome recently. I want a remake of Resident... Or, or oh, Devil you May want Cry a remake 1. of the very first yeah. one. Yeah. I want a remake of the first one on the Devil May Cry 5 engine. Okay. I can see that. Yeah. 
they need to take all the Persona oh, games and, they, and put them in the Persona 5 engine. Oh, my look God. That I agree with that, too. Well, though. they definitely need to just <laughs> take one Revelations, Persona Revelations, and just be like, this is atrocious, rework the whole fucking thing, and then... Keep the story, put it out. Yeah, the story, but everything else about yeah, it. Yeah, fix the gameplay elements. Yeah. Which, I mean, hey, if Atlas wants to, they will, because... They're fucking Atlas, and they can literally do anything they want. They have literally they have no overhead to tell them what they can and cannot do. They have that much control. It's yeah, just Atlas like, don't give a damn. You know, it's, Sega it's, just bailed them out to be able to do that, man. That's well, something yeah. that I didn't know that gave me so much respect for Sega. Yeah, Atlas was done, dude. Of course, and we would have never gotten Persona Five if it weren't for Sega. And I now, mean, and because of the exclusive deal they signed with PlayStation, yeah. I mean, Sony is pretty much given given them free reign to create whatever the hell they want because <coughs> Persona Five did not just make money; it made Sony a pardon my French here a fucking shit ton of money. Yeah, and, they've definitely like refused to let people play it on PC and stuff. Like, it's already been. Yeah, I think with better advertisement, it would probably be close to one of the top selling like PlayStation. For sure. Games. A lot of people, even people that I know that like JRPGs, were not aware of it coming yeah, out. Like, are there still people that I'm like, you should play Persona 5, and they're like, I never heard of that. I'm yeah. Like, like, go fucking Which is play crazy. It, it like, doesn't make sense how they Yeah. Do. It's like, I got lucky to hear about it because I had not really, like, I had heard of the Persona series before, but I never really, like, played it and wasn't really super interested. And for those and, of you uh, out there who are just like, oh, but, but, but I guarantee you, like, it's, it's I don't want to play a game that's not in English. Because that's what a lot of people assume about JRPGs. Like, what? Dude, come on. Really? Stop Who says smoking that? drugs. Go yeah. play the fucking game. It's in yeah, English. Yeah, stop smoking game. drugs. Um. Stop, stop. <laughs> stop, stop, inhaling, stop inhaling bleach. Yeah. I'm talking about like PC people. Or your own ass. They're fumes. fucking up their brain. Oh, just like, I got lucky because All right, we need, to, we need to move on. I, I, there, don't go fucking ahead. interrupt me. No, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Some bitch. What you gotta say. Uh, a YouTube channel I watched was like, yeah, this is Persona 5, and it's one of the top games we're excited about. Just fucking look at this. It's like the most cool anime that you've ever seen, but you get to play it. And just like, look, that's a fucking EXP screen. That's the most stylish shit I've ever seen. 10 out of 10 would receive that EXP again. Yeah. <laughs> like, and I was just like, that does look bitchin'. So I just went and bought it. I was like, hell yeah, I got to try this. And you love fucking it. worth it, dude. Yeah. Like, it's definitely like, in my opinion, like I know a lot of people will be like, Pfft. But dude, it's same tier as God of War and like the other major PS5 or PS4 games, or better because of how much there is to it. Yeah, there's literally hundreds and hundreds of hours of content mm -hmm. and different play styles that you can have in the game and different pathways that you can follow. I mean, fucking hell, which has been Shin Megami Tensei's, you know, calling card since fucking Super Nintendo Nintendo era. It, so. Well, yeah, and now that they're <clears throat> able to fully flesh it out with gaming engines that are capable of handling all that shit, here we are. And now, whatever they do next, I mean, they, they did Persona 5 Royal. Only thing that comes next is whether they decide to do Persona 6, or, like you said, go back and remaster it. Oh, my God. Remaster, remaster the original. Everything. Remaster, uh, actually, imagine if they did also like Persona 1 through 3. They console. do it a lot, so. Imagine them remastering Persona 1 through 3. I would like them to at least put 4 Golden on console or something. Please, man. Yeah. Totally golden on has Vita. only been on the Vita, and it's not enough to give that game its due. Really oh, well. Not. Ladies and gentlemen, that was that, and this was uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 official reveal trailer. Hope you all enjoyed it, and I can't wait to see what this is going to be like in September whenever this drops. And uh, we hope that we will see you all there. And until next time, I'm Nate. I'm Nick. I'm Chad. We'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Here I am. Doing everything I can. I'm getting older all the time. But still, I'm a Superman.